Um, just to say that uh, we are extremely happy to be associated uh, with um, uh, this uh, conference call, um, knowing that um, as ministry responsible for ICTs and um, uh, communication, um, this is critical, um, especially at this time um, of uh, the pandemic when uh, Africa is looking at uh, a number of options to ensure that uh, the right processes uh, are done for people not only to get uh, the right information, but also to have efficiency in the way we are you know, dealing with the COVID. Um, on our side, I mean, uh, what we are doing right now with the various agencies of the government here in the Gambia is to roll out uh, the uh, digital initiative that will connect all the government services on one portal um, to ensure that, uh, you know, civil servants across the broad spectrum of uh, the government are able to provide um, the necessary services um, also, but also get connected to deliver the, 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 the work efficiently um, and on time. Now, uh, looking at uh, the issues for discussion, especially uh, how we have been able to uh, maneuver our way through the, uh, the, the pandemic, uh, my ministry actually um, came up with uh, an initiative that uh, you know was extremely very useful in that we collaborated with uh, the Ministry of Education where we provided virtual classrooms for the whole of the country, and uh, this was piloted. Now we are thinking of upscaling this uh, to make it a sustainable uh, um, project. However, looking at uh, the other two key topics that are under, I mean, that's supposed to be discussed uh, today, uh, which, uh, of course, uh, one relating to uh, a strategy on uh, young people and the, 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 the sustainability aspects of access to education access to i mean uh, jobs this is uh, this is critical and i believe that ict will still have to play an important critical role um, in this because um, at a time when for example looking at the hospitality industry a number of african countries build all these uh, big massive conference centers at hotels and now all of a sudden many of these conferences are, are, are not taking place on location or on site people are uh, virtually doing things from home or from the comfort of uh, their offices. So what happens to conference tourism in Africa? So that's where innovation will have to come in to engage our young people to embrace, uh, I mean, uh, digital concepts so that, you know, we can have what we call one Africa platform to ensure that goods and services are available. Um, you may not travel to a particular country, but you can have specific services that can be sold to um, a wide variety of uh, people, even though they are not in those countries, but you know, in their own countries. So there has to be some very strong, innovative, you know, strategies and ideas to, I mean, uh, help young people, I mean, uh, have access to some of these important, I mean, uh, I mean, job initiatives. But we also need to also accelerate our efforts on digital literacy. And you don't necessarily have to be a literate person to be able to do this. And I think, you know, I mean, the African governments would need to, you know, start seriously thinking about this issue that, you know, I mean, uh, the opportunity provided by, I mean, our mobile phones, um, the fact that many Africans, I mean, uh, whether you are, you, you are educated or not, can use smartphones, can navigate their way through the smartphones, should be an added opportunity for us to put our energies together, to so synchronize and see that- uh, Minister, develop... please, one minute, please. Yeah, we develop we develop apps. We develop apps that can be easily accessible by the African people to co develop our e-commerce initiatives and to also develop the strategies that will support employment in Africa. Thank you.